hello everyone and welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this dress starting with my front bodies i'm going to go in at the side seam half an inch and connect that half an inch with my um, waistline and at the top of my armhole I'm going downwards by half an inch and I'm going to connect that to my armhole. I'm also going to repeat the same thing for the back half an inch inwards and half an inch downwards. It's basically the basic contour we I usually do when I'm making this type of dresses. Now at the front pattern at the empire I'm going in out at the dart legs half an inch on both sides I've already gone ahead and made my radius which is three inches round from the apex point I connected that half an inch to the waistline and also to the apex point on both sides of the dart and then at the center front I'm going to take the center front contour which is three eighths of an inch on both sides of the bust line connecting that to the apex point at the top of one of my that legs i'm going upwards by half an inch and at the mid armhole i went in by one inch and i connected the half an inch from under the armhole to the one inch and at the center front at my half an inch point i went inwards by another half an inch and I'm going to connect that point to the new armhole line. Now because I'll be gathering the top of the dress, I'm not going to close that dart. Once that's done, I can go in and draw in my um, style line at the center front. And at the side seam, I went outwards one inch from my um, bust line and I'm going to connect that to my M under bust um, line, which is the empire line. And because I want the cup on the side a little bit narrow, I m moved that line inwards by half an inch and corrected my cup. I'm repeating the same thing at the back. At the mid arm hole, I went in half an inch and connected that to the underarm. And from the center back, I'm going downwards by 8 inches and I'm going to connect that to the new arm hole curve. Then I'm extending my dart line at my back upwards and from the shoulder tip, I'm going down by 5 inches make a straight line and then extend my dart leg at the waistline up towards the line at the top and this will be my back pattern and then I have my center front and my side patterns as well now I'm going ahead to cut out my pattern pieces so I cut out my center front making sure to add my um, notches and then I closed the contour I did at the center front and then I also corrected the curve because when you close the contour it's going to leave one side um, bigger than the other so you have to correct the pattern I did that and then I cut out my side front panel as well And for the cups, I'm going to cut out the top of the bust point so I'm so that I can close the bottom that because I don't want any um, excess at the bottom of the cup. Now I went ahead and I cut out my back pattern. So here are all my pattern pieces, my center front. I'm just closing my contour, and then. For my cup pieces, I'm going to close that open edge at the bottom of the cup like this because I don't want the excess there and I won't be gathering the bottom of the cup. So I'm going to close that up. And then the dart at the center front of the cup as well, I'm going to close that dart. Now this step is not necessary. If you don't want to take the contour at the center front, you can skip that part. 
then I went ahead and drew in my slash lines because I'm going to be slashing the top of my cups to the bottom not through to the bottom because I'm going to be adding excess to the top so I spread out the top by um, half an inch on both panel on all the panels because I didn't want to add too much excess to the top of the cup then I went ahead and we redrew my um, um, style line or my cup lines and then redrew my dad's my notches added my seam allowance at the top of my cup i added a one inch seam allowance initially but i went ahead and reduced that you'll see in the as the video goes along so here are all my pattern pieces i have my front body pieces and my back body body piece so for the back it's one piece so i'm going to i just um folded the dots because I'll be cutting just one panel for the back moving on to the skirt I have my piece of paper and I'm drawing a line at the top and at the side the line at the side will be my center front and the line at the top will be my waist from the waistline downwards I measured 8 inches which is the distance from my waist to my hip sorry 10 inches which is a distance from my waist to my hip and on my hip line I placed one quarter of my hip measurement so it's one fourth of my hip measurement and I did that also at the waistline I placed one fourth of my um, waist measurement plus a one inch for that and then I connected that point to the hip and then I marked the length of the skirt I wanted, which mine was about 16 inches. And then I extended the hip line from the hip to the hem of the dress. Then I went in and marked my dart, which was 3 inches from the center front. And then from that 3 inches, I marked my 1 inch marked the middle of that point, extended my dart downwards by 5 inches, and I drew in my dad legs so now moving on to the um, back pattern the front we're going to cut on fold I went ahead and added my seam allowances around it now moving on to the back pattern I'm using this red pen so at the center front line which will be my center back line I went inwards half an inch just to accommodate the curve at the at uh, on our backs then I went in from that center line marked my dart placement which was 3 inches and my 1 inch dart and then extended my dart line 4.5 inches downwards and drew in my dart then I went ahead and continued my to mark my 1 quarter of my waist measurement so for my back pattern my waist extends a little 1 eighth of an inch away from the front um, pattern so I'm going to be using the same paper for the front and the back just to conserve paper so I can go ahead and add my seam allowance at my center back but I won't be cutting that out because I need the folded edge for to cut out my front so I added my seam allowances all round and indicated which that was for the back and which was for the front now moving on to my sleeve, I have my sleeve um, pattern here and I'm just going to make a few adjustments to it. So at the side seams, I went down half an inch like we did for the top of the, the bodies of the dress. And then I took my um, front pattern pieces to measure the what my armhole curve at the on the bodies was. So I measured that for the front and then I transferred that measurement to my sleeve cap marked that point for the front and also for the back the reason I'm doing this is because I want to know where my gathering for the sleeve starts and where it ends now from that point I'm going to begin marking my slash lines on both front and back so I slashed my sleeve patterns open and spreaded them by 
two inches at the bottom and I slanted it at the top because I didn't want the top to be as wide as the bottom as you can see here. I pinned that down and then I raised my sleeve cap up by two inches and I connected that on both the front and the back, connected that back to where my gathers stops at the sleeve like you see me doing here. And then from the top, I marked out the length of the sleeve I wanted. So because I wanted my sleeve longer so it could fold in, I went downwards by 17 inches and I extended my sleeve length and drew in my sleeve hem. Once that was done, pattern complete and this is the fabric I'll be using. So this is a thrifted um, fabric. I can't really tell what it is but it's initially a cotton and it has two color tones and I'll be using the two color tones for the dress. So I went ahead and pinned my patterns down and added my seam allowances. So I'll be cutting four of the back panel, four of the side front panel and the center front panel will be placed on fold so I'll cut two of that and I'll also cut two, four of the cup pieces and two of the sleeve pieces. On my sleeve head where I'll be um, putting my elastic band I made my seam allowance at that point one inch. And then to cut out my skirt, I'm going to fold my back um, seam allowances and cut out the front skirt first. And then go ahead and mark my dart for my front skirt. Then I'm going to open my pattern and cut out my back skirt and also mark my dart. I also went ahead and cut out myself some interfacing for my bodice pieces and also cut out lining for my skirt pieces as well. I made sure I transferred all my notches. So this blue colored piece of the cutting I'm going to be using to make the ruffles at the bottom of the skirt. And this is the extra allowance I added to the top of my sleeve. Now starting the sewing process with my bodice pattern, I'm going to sew the front pieces first. So I'm joining the side front piece to the center front piece along the seam lines for both main garments and interfacing. Now I interfaced um, both the main garment and the facing piece on all pattern pieces. So all four, four pattern pieces are interfaced because I want to give um, the fabric a little bit of um, weight. So I also pinned along the side seam of the center front and also the back. So when I take that to my machine, I'm sewing all of it in one go. Once I was done sewing, I pressed my seams open for both pieces and I placed them right sides together and sewed along the center front at the top of the dress like this. Then I opened my pattern pieces and we're going to work with the cups. So for the cups, I'm just placing them um, wrong sides together on both pieces and I'm going to take that to my machine and pin along the cup edge of the cups. So first I'm going to find pin along my um, pin my notches first so I'm pinning my one notch that is closest to the center front and my two notches closest to the side front and then I'm going to pin the rest of my dress along the cup or pin the rest of my cup along the cup seam and at the center front I'm extending my seam allowances out into the 
center front then I'm going to take that to my machine sew that down and then sandwich the facing piece on top the cock piece so what we're doing is we're sandwiching the cock piece between the main garment and the facing piece once that's done take that to your machine sew it carefully and gently because it's a little bit bulky so you want to take and it's a curved seam so you want to take your time sewing that down do the same thing on both sides and once that once that's done this is what it looks like so the one inch seam allowance I added at the top of my cups, I cut that off because I wanted to use a contrasting color to finish the top of it. So I just went ahead and folded my center front seam allowance on the bias piece and also on the cup piece and I pinned along the top edge of the cup. And I sewed that down, trimmed the seam allowances and folded my bias piece twice underneath my um, already existing stitching line. I'm going to pin that down, take that to my machine and stitch in the ditch. Once that's done, it looks like this and I'm going to set that aside and make my tie for the front of my dress. So here I have a long piece that measures um, roughly 2 inches and I'm going to fold that in half right sides together and sew at 3 eighths of an inch away from the folded edge. So once that's done, I'm going to use my loop turner and turn that over to the right side and press that down so here I just made a very long strip because I'm going to cut that in half for both sides of the cup so once that's done I cut it in half and I tied one end of the strip and then I placed a, a pin on the other edge and I'm Going, a safety pin on the other edge and I'm going to pass that edge through the channel I created for my for my ropes so once that's done once I've pulled that out on the other side I'm going to take a pin and put there to hold that in place you can go ahead and tack it down if you want do the same thing for both cup pieces and this is what it should look like when you're done then I'm going to finish the back neckline of my dress so here I'm just marking the seam allowance of my back neckline because I'm going to be leaving that open then I turned my back pieces right sides together and I pinned along the neckline of the back of the dress and I'm going to sew that down leaving the seam allowance open for the zip once that's done this is what it looks like I also went ahead and did an under stitch now moving on to the sleeves, I'm going to go ahead and finish the side seam of the sleeve and make two rows of gathering stitch on the hem of the sleeve. Then here I have my bias tape, bias tape and I'm going to join the open ends together to make it one round piece. And once you're done it should look like this and then I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the hem of my sleeve. So I'm pinning my bias tape to my sleeve right sides together and when you cut your bias tape make sure it measures to measures the length of your bicep or the width of your bicep. Once I'm done pinning I'm going to take that to my machine sew that down and then trim my seam allowances to about a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to turn the folded edge of my bias over my existing stitching line, 
pin that down, take that to my machine and stitch close to the edge. Once you're done, it should look like this. And then we can attach the sleeve to the bodice of the dress. So I'm going to take my sleeve making sure my side seams are matching i'm going to pin along my side seams first and then i'm going to pin along the rest of the sleeve so here i'm pinning making sure that my um, seam extra seam allowance for my um, elastic is not is the hmm. so i'm pinning it making sure that my sleeve does not go into the extra seam allowance i left for my elastic so i'm going to sew that down after you've sewn that automatically it folds along your stitching line so I'm just going to fold the extra um, seam allowance downwards to create underneath the sleeve to create a channel for my elastic. Now when you get to the top of the sleeve, you're going to have to um, pleat some parts of it in because it's a, curved, it's a curved edge you're sewing on and it won't be easy folding that downwards another thing you could do is maybe make a gathering stitch to do that then i went ahead and stitched close to the edge and i cut out an elastic that me that is that measures half of my armhole so let's say your armhole measures 16 inches you want to cut divide that in two and cut your elastic one half of that measurement so mine is about 8.5 inches so i'm going to cut my elastic to be 8.5 inches or even less because you want it to fit tightly so i'm going to once i've cut my elastic i'm going to pass it through that channel And then I'm going once I've passed it through the channel I'm going to pin one bottom of the elastic down and then continue passing it and when I get when I go past through the other end of the channel I'm going to pull out my elastic and also pin that down so I can do a top stitch holding that in place So you can go ahead and tack that down at the front and also at the back. And once you're done, this is what the top looks like. You can go ahead and finish your raw edges. And this is what the final dress looks like. All I did was for the skirt was sew up the seam, add the ruffles, joined it to the bodies and add the zipper. Sorry I couldn't get you all the video but this is what I could get before my machine spoiled. If you like this video please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye.